Hi loves, welcome to Movement Class. I'm so excited that you're here. This is a beginner class for those of you who haven't taken movement before or are like wondering what this is. Um, I'm here to just get you started on your movement journey and I'm so excited. So please like and subscribe so we can keep bringing you videos and let's do it. All you need, you guys, is a place to move. That's all you need, that's all you need. Could be outside, could be inside, by yourself, with a room full of kids, whatever it is. <laughs> This is just time for you. Put on your favorite music if you want. I have my music, of course. And let's just get started. We're gonna start with a nice, gentle warm up to start the body opening up. There's reasons for everything that we do and I'm gonna explain as we go to help your mind begin to adjust to allowing the body to try new things and move in new ways. Let's do it. Here we go. So standing wide, we want a nice wide stance. We want to really feel our feet gripping into the ground. This really helps us to ground the body, which just means really to bring our energy and awareness into our body, yeah? So from here, you're gonna bend those knees a little bit. You're gonna turn the toes out to the side, the knees out to the side, yeah? And this is called a plie. All this is is you're gonna bend your knees nice and low. Bring your arms down. Inhale, bring them up above your head, really stretch. And then exhale, bring them back down. Breathing in, breathing out. We're just coordinating movement with breath. Letting it feel really juicy and yummy. And this is how we begin to wake up the body. Gently, gently. Good. Now, holding this position, knees are bent. We're just going to pulse a little bit right here. So we might feel our muscles really firing up. You might feel yourself beginning to burn in the legs. That is us just warming those muscles, waking them up, yeah? Beautiful, you guys. Hands come to the knees. You're gonna drop one shoulder into the center. Just a gentle twist of the spine, yeah? As you press the knees open, and then switching to the other side. Gently waving the spine, yeah? Good, breathe in again, inhale up, and just hold this stretch like a nice morning stretch. Maybe you make a sound, oh, or a yawn, whatever you want to do. Good, and from here, all I want you to do is lean to the side, open up your side body, breathe in, pull your belly in, supporting your back. Coming up, flat back, stretching over one side. Breathe. Come back up, switch. So we gently warm up the muscles because movement requires your body, right? And we don't want to hurt anything. We want to really be gentle as we wake the body up. Good, from here, we're gonna to begin to open up different parts of the body. Here we're gonna to begin to open up the chest. And within the chest, of course, is contained your heart. So you want to think about not only opening the chest, but breathing into the heart. So we inhale, open, exhale back. So from the side, you're breathing in, chest comes forward, exhale, closing the front, opening the back. So good. And we do this for a reason, you guys. We are not just working with the body movement class. As we move the body, we begin to connect to the energy centers in the body. And the energy centers hold a lot of emotion. Energy centers are also known as chakras. This is the heart chakra, right? So we begin opening the heart. Right, so chest and back. Breathe in, breathe out. Good, for a four, three, two, and one. Beautiful, we're gonna hold it to the front. Now we're gonna bring the chest to the side. Whoop, then to the back, then to the side. So we're bringing it in a square. And this just helps us to begin to teach the body, oh my goodness, well there's all these different ways we can move. Let's reverse. Now, the mind sometimes wants to get in there when we're starting out and we're starting to move in weird ways and be like, oh my gosh, you can't do this. You don't know what you're doing. You don't know how to do this and it tries to kind of stop us. Maybe our inner critic voice begins to really speak up. Let's connect the dots, right? So now we're going in a circle. 
But instead of letting that inner critic stop us, we're actually going to just move through it. We're gonna say, okay, inner critic, I hear you. I hear you, I'm trying something new, and when I try something new, you wanna push back, because you wanna protect me, right, from what might happen if I try something new, right? But instead, back to your open and close, we're gonna just be compassionate with our inner critic. And say, it's okay, it's just me trying something new. Here we go, two more like this. Good, now we're gonna move into our shoulders. Shoulders and arms are actually an extension of the heart. Always with our breath, we move. Inhale up and back, let's reverse. Back and up and over. Two more like this, up and over, up and over. Good, now we're gonna do one shoulder and then the other shoulder. Squeeze, squeeze. Try to keep your neck straight and just work the shoulder. Three, two, one, beautiful. Now, getting into these hips. Hips contain a lot of emotion. So we wanna to begin to move them. And for some of us, this might feel like we haven't done this in a long time, or maybe ever, and that's okay. So we might feel a little silly. We might feel some, some feelings coming up. Embarrassment, shame, guilt, shyness. A little faster. We might also feel a little silly or fun. A little sensuality. All feelings welcome. That's the rule of movement class. All feelings, all sensations welcome. There are no bad feelings at all. Here we go, let's bring the hips forward and back. So, tap the tailbone, bring it back. Opening the front of the hips, and then sitting into the, the back, the glutes. Woo! Good, let's go a little faster. Tap, back. Good, I like to put my arms in opposite direction of my hips. You can do whatever you want. Good, four, three, two, now we're gonna roll the hip to the right side. That's it, other side, roll. Good, now we're gonna add a little bounce as we take our hips in a full circle. Should feel nice and silly. Let your upper body just relax too. Let it be silly, yeah? Now reverse, other way. We're just trying to loosen up here. For a lot of us, if we haven't moved in any sort of way that's free, it might feel really scary to move like this at first. And that's okay, you guys. I want you to be really gentle with yourself. And if you need, side to side again, if you need to stop and rest or take a break, just do that. So much compassion with the body. Add the arms. Good, now let's take the hips in a big circle all Other way, here we go, all right. That's it, beautiful, arms come up. Good, hands in prayer. Take a deep breath, bring your awareness inward, into your heart center, hands on your heart. And just say a thank you. Thank you for showing up today. Thank you for being here, body. Thank you for being brave. And as we transition into our first movement exercise, we're just going to set an intention. And maybe that intention is already done because you showed up and you're here, yeah? But I invite you to breathe into your heart and ask the heart, what is your intention for this, the rest of this class? Maybe it's just to do it. Maybe it's to bring more of yourself into the world, to allow more freedom, more joy in your life. Whatever it is, breathe it into your body, take a deep breath in. Exhale. All right, you ready? Now, movement exercises help us by giving our brain a job to do so that it can get out of the way and allow the body to lead, okay? So the instructions that I'm gonna give the brain are, I want you to create as many straight lines 
in the body as possible. Moving one into the next, okay? So, who knows? Let's explore. Straight lines. How many different straight lines can I create? Pausing in each line, finding a new one, trying something I've never thought of before. Maybe I fall on my face and that's okay, right? That's okay, we have lots of compassion when we're trying something new. And the thing we wanna take with us, you guys, and to every movement class is the spirit of play. Bring that inner child. You're doing great. Take it to the floor if you haven't yet. Find those straight lines on the floor. Woo! <laughs> Good, in a moment, I'm gonna switch the kind of line that I'm giving you. Are you ready for it? I think you are. Here we go. We are doing curved round. I'll call them round lines. How many circles can you create in your body? How many round shapes? We are trying to allow, give the mind enough instruction it feels safe, but we're moving beyond the limitations of the mind. So when the mind doesn't know what else to do, I want you to, I invite you to really bring your awareness into your body. Body, what else? Body, what else? And believe it or not, your body will think of something different. Your body will create a different shape than, you did, than your mind could imagine. The intelligence of the body. All right, different line, are you ready? You're ready, here we go. We are gonna do waves, wavy lines. How many different waves can you create in your body? Play in your imagination, and then when you reach the limits of your imagination, Ask your body, what else? Let your body show you. Use your furniture. And I am here, you guys, to hold this space and just to provide inspiration. So if you get scared or you feel alone or you feel silly, just copy me. Just copy me for a little bit. Allow your body to, to know that you're not alone, that I'm being silly with you. And it's okay, however you feel. All feelings welcome. Okay, here we go. Next line, you ready? This is a fun one. Jagged lines. Think of corners and edges, jaggedness. This one's silly, let yourself be free with it. Forget about looking good, looking pretty. <laughs> Just play. Permission to be silly. Okay, now you ready for the next part of this? <laughs> you are, here we go. I am going to give you one of those four lines. Straight, 
round waves or jagged lines, okay? And every time I shout a new line, you're gonna change. So if I say straight lines, you start with how many straight lines can I come up with? Then I might change to waves. And then I want you to begin to explore that. Then I might say jagged or round. Got it? One after another. Here we go, you got this. All right, you guys, let's start with waves. Yes, just like that. Waves play within your body all the different ways you can create. grab some last part of this is I'm going to do the same thing we just did but I'm gonna shout out the different lines a little quicker so you're gonna have to adjust and what you'll notice is the mind will not be able to keep up but the body will you ready jagged lines straight lines curved lines Round. Jagged. so many of the restrictions 
You did that. That's what you did. Good, hands on your heart. We're gonna take a moment to feel into our body. Hand on heart, hand on belly. Feeling into gratitude. Deep breath. Into your heart space, exhale. Again, inhale. Breathing in gratitude. Exhale. I invite you, if you wish, to repeat after me to your body. Thank you, my sweet, beloved body. Thank you for showing up to this movement class today. Thank you for trying something new. Thank you for embarking on a journey with me. <laughs> One of harmony between my consciousness and my physical self. Thank you for your ability, whatever it is. Thank you for your breath. Thank you for your heartbeat. Thank you for showing up. Good, deep breath in. <sighs> Receiving all of that gratitude. Beautiful, you guys. I invite you to take a bow with me to bow to your beautiful body. <sighs> Thank you, body. Thank you showing up and I thank you from the bottom of my heart for being here with me today use this exercise anytime put on your own music that you love and allow your body to create these lines and to move in a way that lifts you and frees you thank you guys if you enjoyed this video please like please subscribe and I'll see you next